Newbie reporting for duty with the OG M4, the beast of Modern Warfare 2. Is it as beastly in Modern Warfare 3? Let's take a look at the numbers. Headshot damage, 37. 34 everywhere else, 810.8 rounds per minute. That's pretty fast. Effective damage range is decent for an assault rifle at 22.7 meters. And those are composite ranges and bullet velocity based on the configuration. The minimum damage range is about 40 meters. And like I said, bullet velocity at 612 meters per second. Fairly accurate weapon. It was accurate in Modern Warfare 2. It's the only weapon my son ever used. He was frustrating with it. Recoil gun kick at 16.79 degrees per second. Horizontal recoil 11.19 degrees per second so you're going to have to watch that and the vertical recoil about 40 degrees per second all improved by the low grain rounds. Let's look at the rest of the configuration. Start with Torrent Span 9 stock that helps with all of the recoil and with accuracy of hip fire. And while we're there, let's talk about it. The hip fire spread is 2.9 degrees per second, and the max is 7.3 with attack stance of 5. This is a very accurate hip fire or attack stance weapon. The movement speeds are average, I won't go over all of them. The handling, though, when you take a look at that, the ADS speed is 252 milliseconds which is a good solid aim down sight speed it's going to beat the mcw as you're about to see and the sprint to fire speed at 195 milliseconds so the weapon packs a decent punch and you can get it up fairly quickly the grip the second zs grip and that helps with recoil no downsides 45 round mag and yeah there's a lot of red but it's not significant red don't be scared away by red the reason why i want those 45 Five rounds is because I'll be playing free for all and I'm set up for multiple engagements or on medium range maps fairly long engagements where I'll be strafing and throwing out a lot of bullets finally the dr6 hand stop that helps a bit with mobility with handling the ADS and sprint to fire speeds impacts the accuracy of the hip fire and the tack stance but they're still just absolutely spot on laser dots when you're hip firing or you're standing in tack stance I don't plan on doing it so I don't worry about that the hip fire yes I will do when it's needed and I'm very confident that I'll be able to win the, the engagement so let's take this beast on to the field of honor I've been gacked by it so several times so I thought you know what it's time to do a deep dive we'll take it into free-for-all and we'll see what happens to poor old grandpa before we get too far into it let's compare the M4 to the MCW and meta configuration green is good for the M4 highlighted green very good same with red bad for the M4 highlighted very bad and you can see the fire rate is where the M4 rules the bullet velocity much better for the MCW, but that's because of the longer range. It may not even come into play in shorter engagements. Significantly, the damage is fairly high. Fairly <laughs> significantly, the damage is a bit higher for the M4. If you look at the ranges, as we've already discussed, slightly longer for the MCW, but look at the times to kill. A whole 50 milliseconds faster in every consideration for the M4. And so that puts it at quite the gacking machine on a short to medium range map. And finally, let's look at recoil and performance. Recoil is where the MCW shines. That's why the pros use it in the CDL. But everywhere else is a victory for the m4 except for the the speeds um i should have highlighted those red the mcw is slightly faster in the movement speed the crouch movement speed those sorts of things so forgive me for that sprint to fire speed though much faster for the m4 and there we start shoot house with a double gack grandpa loves double gacks he hates buying the farm though so we're going to come back and see if we can gack that that person. And revenge is a sweet word. And I like my revenge served hot, not cold. Apologies to Shakespeare. Look at that wolf man coming at me. We already got a mosquito. Of course, we've already died a couple of times. 
Go, my child, do work. Do mosquito business for me. So, so far, the MCW, I, I feel pretty confident at short range, unless I take a bullet to the head from some other gacking gun. Not sure who the nemesis is going to be yet on this map. So basically, we're going to try to gack everyone. When I take a stunner, I go down um, and wait till things clear up. Or if somebody's close to me, I just pull the trigger. A lot of times, I end up with the win, even though I can't even see the enemy. And they're not really the enemy. I mean, come on. They're just other people playing the game. They're friends. Oh, that guy's got a... Oh, that's Elvis. Elvis is camping at the classic spot. I love the spawns on Free For All because if you get gacked, it gives you a revenge spawn. There's... Was that Elvis? He's no longer Elvis. And I managed to work... Oh, there's Elvis. Work myself four behind... Come up quickly to behind. So the MCW is putting out the rounds. I mean, it is kind of a bullet hose. It packs a medium heavy punch. Okay. Check the classic camping spots. So I think that's good enough. Good enough at short range. I mean, based on the statistics and based on the performance in this first game thus far, I'm thinking... Short to medium range map. I'll take this over the MCW any day. Look at there. The side to side recoil, the horizontal recoil didn't affect me at all. Okay, I'm still down by three. We got this guy back to his KOA campground. He must have reserved the slot. Guy's on fire. I helped put it out. Ooh, <laughs> there's a thermite. Somebody's got a, is that a team jersey? A team skin? Can't tell. Put a few rounds on him. Keep following Elvis. The king has exited the map. There he is again. Helps to get two consecutive kills on the king. Especially towards the end of the game. Somebody's mosquito got me. All right, well, what is that? Somebody laying down up there. All right, now's the time. If you saw my how to play free for all. To take some chances. It's close towards the end of the match. I came to see if that guy was going to lay down on the same spot. I guess so. Take some chances because either you're a winner or you're going to be the first loser. Second place. Throw out the mosquito drone. Throw out everything you have. Throw out a banana peel if he'll slip and you'll get a gack on that. There's the obligatory knifer in a tuxedo, no less. Man, I'm down by two. The enemy needs one. I've got to run. I gacked the king. Now we're tied. I'm going to run back here and see if there's any action. The A and the C spots on Shoot House are always the action points. I don't see how there's any chance of winning because the enemy's got to be over here and that's far away. Oh, there's the guy on fire. We actually get a Snickers win out of it. And I think the M4 actually did fairly well in this first free-for-all that I played with it. I feel pretty confident throwing out the guns. Well, it was bloody. It was bloody. Look at the KD-136. Pretty low. Oh, I think I just saw somebody to my left. I like this map, Scrapyard, with infectious spores and moles and diseases running around. White Furry Tribble, Gak Tim, the guy was trying to beat down old grandpa, trying for some elder bees. Oh, I think I got to not engage that one. He ended up stepping on my proximity mine. Not sure if the mosquito will bounce off that stuff above us. Don't want to take the chance. I like that the reload is fairly quick, even with a 45-round mag. Yesterday, I tested the blueprint for the BP-50 that you win 
week eight. Got Elvis there. And it had a small mag, 30 rounds, putting them out pretty quickly. And the reload was horrible on it. So I needed to, at the end, after... Uh, there's Elvis again with his Jack Wardens. After I won a couple of free-for-all in the blueprint configuration, I went ahead and played a game. There's White Furry Tribble has passed away. Oh, I'm seven behind. I need to pay attention. But in any case, the 45-round mag just worked out so much better. Gack that guy going to a camping spot. Oh, there was somebody right there. See if I can get to him this way. He's trying to throw things at me. So the M4 is a good rushing assault rifle with decent range. Out to 22, 23 meters. And sprint to fire is less than 200 milliseconds. ADS less than 250. There's the tosser who tosses things. All right, we've gone from seven down to manage to tie this thing. So I'm getting visions of grandeur, especially hitting on the white furry Tribble. He was using a Renetti, and that thing is deadly at close range, especially with the jack kit on it. See that? He just absolutely gacked me. So I go from tied, work myself three behind. Oh, three behind. Glad I got a bullet in him because that counted for me when he killed himself. And this is a bloody map again. These were decent players, at least in the upper half. You can see, at point blank range, the M4 does quite well. I was actually surprised how well this weapon did. I didn't use it much in Modern Warfare 2 after I got it to Orion camo. Because I felt there were better weapons. But as I said in the intro, my son used it exclusively. And he was just frustrating with it. All right, there's going to be another game that I don't comment on. Commentate. After the F4 Phantom pops its chute and rolls out on the runway. So, time to take chances again. We're down by one. We're in third place. First place is 27. There's White Furry Tribble. Now we're in second. We've got to get three kills before somebody gets two. There's, oh, I'll take him. And we're tied. I'm going to throw out everything there is to throw out here. Proximity mines. But first, we need to reload one more kill before the enemy gets one. Oh, there's Elvis. Ha. <laughs> Stopped him from getting his last kill. And I think somebody stepped on my proximity. My grandpa celebrating that one. That was hard fought. It was bloody too. And this guy, Solomon Grundy, he ended up with a 3.4 KD. And uh, he tried to convince us all, you can see him speaking here, that he actually won the game. Which, I mean, second place is the first loser, but Activision says it's a winner. So please like and subscribe. Peace. Free for all. Safety's off. You're cleared to engage all threats.
enemy holds the clock ticking. near your position. UAV in the area. Final minute. remain. Secured the field. Mission accomplished.